I'm better on the mic, find an ace up. My name is Rick Ortiz and it sounds like California. If you shout and stare, sitting on a hundred and ten, if you count and spare, see you out your mind trying to face the uh, Right now, I'm mainly focusing on Super 4 AE, and I'm playing Marble Tackle 3 on the side. I just probably learned it maybe like two weeks ago, so I'm still rather new to the game because I didn't play it when it first came out, but I'm trying to like take it more seriously now. I'm trying to get prepared for Evo. In Marvel right now, I play She Hulk, Wolverine, and Akuma, and the team I'm working on right now is um, Wolverine, Akuma, and Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix, yeah. It's funny because um, there was the Marvel Attack on one. I've always wanted Phoenix to be in the game because she's my favorite Marvel character of all time. And I've been wanting it forever. And they finally put her in the game. But the only thing is she's like super cheap, but it's not, that's not gonna stop me from playing her. She's just, she's just like a super awesome character, I think. Yeah. AE, I'm still playing Rufus for now. I think um, since the game just came out, I didn't have enough time to adapt with a new character in time for all these big tournaments. So for now I'm playing Rufus and before Evo I'll be playing Yen most likely. Um, I just think he's a better Rufus. He's the overall really good character, really solid character, best character in the game, and he just fits my style really well. And I, I, there's no point in playing Rufus if, if I have Yun. Like, they're almost the same character, and just, uh, he's a better version of him. I entertain well, amateurs lose stamina, trying to examine the lyrics to damage the brain cells. Yeah, I put it. Uh, it's probably have to be Magus and James Chen. Magus 124 and James Chen. Well, because Andy actually knows, like, a lot about all the games. And he's really good because he'll give you, like, 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 up-to-date, like, like, strategies, like, the players. Like, he, he actually, like, goes in the player's mind, like, what, when they're playing. And he, like, knows, like, what strategy they're doing at that moment. And he'll explain to you, like, why they're doing something at a certain time. And, like, not a lot of commentators do that. Like, he just, like, a lot of knowledge about the game, so he knows a lot of stuff. Well, remember Cinder watch from this, watch this. If Champ lands a combo versus Sentinel, you're gonna see something funny. Here it is, watch. He's gonna do XF level 3 combo. Oh, yeah. yeah he was doing this earlier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just jockeying for position right here. Who like who has the balls to get close enough? You know. Yeah, man. Look at that. Wow. See? Look at that. That was so nice. Game's also the same reason why. Yeah. It's really knowledgeable about the games. Uh, we played in the we played in the finals, and to be honest, I was actually kind of nervous in that match because I've always I've always played in like really big tournaments, but I never played in a tournament as grand as a as a past Evo. There were just like thousands of people there, and I'm used to that, but I'm not used to like that many people. And it was on stream, there was hundreds of thousands of viewers watching, so I got a little choked up when I was playing. I didn't, I didn't do as well as I wanted to do, but it was a really memorable match because it was so like hype and so big, yeah. Look at it poking on the ground, and that's got him! That's caught Daigo in the Ultra 2! Whoa! Ricky Ortiz putting him on notice! Stay out of the air, Daigo! Ricky Ortiz taking the champion down!